Hi, I'm Esan. I create artwork to inspire global peace. For the last 17 years, I've been working on an art project and an art collections. It is made of 2,000 individual paintings and they're also double-sided. When you put all of these 2,000 individual paintings together as a whole, it turns to half an acre size of a peace symbol. You will see peace in it, you will see unity in it. In the back side of it, you see unconditional love covering planet Earth. Well, it all started, it all started when, um, um, when I was a kid. Um, and um, I uh, experienced um, wars. I saw airplanes trying to bomb the city of my grandparents. We were visiting there. There was this in Iran, Kerman, and I was probably eight or nine, I don't remember exactly, probably around eight ish, or actually it's maybe seven. And I saw that. I saw that they were just bombing, and then we were up in the. Um, uh, rooftop and was ceiling. It was late night with the noise and sirens. So uh, that kind of made a huge effect on me. And um, what other things that I saw, I was born and raised in Sweden. In uh, Sweden, I also uh, saw discrimination, discriminations, um, um, the racism. I really experienced that in front of, you know, you know, about my same classmates, or even driving in a metro, drunk people saying words that was felt really uncomfortable um, to be on your own skin. Um, so um, those little things affected me, and then to a point that I uh, started reading a book, it's called Peace. And there's a few things I picked up from that book. Um, one thing that um, this topic of peace is a very in-depth topic. Uh, we never really, really had any kind of ex global peace. There's always been wars. There's always been wars from the beginning of human, human history till now. And um, that kind of really shook me. As of now, war is happening and that really really made me uh, really you know uh impact on me of just like recognizing that we never had that um and um, the question was like is it possible is it really possible that we can actually have everlasting peace and how can we get there and i remember when i was um 18 and um it was in 2000, in, when I was 19, 18, we moved over here to California. And uh, I think on the second or third year, these are discussions that I used to have with my friend. And everybody said, no, it's not possible. It's never going to happen. This has been from the beginning of history to now. And, you know, to the rest of human history is going to continue. Mm -hmm. So uh, that kind of, uh, and I, well, yeah, <laughs> there's some truth into that. And, um, but also, I also start looking at how it was 100 years ago, 200 years ago, talking during the time of gladiators, how, uh, how human was behaved during the Aztec, um, how they, and then I see during the time of um, slavery in America, all of that. But none of that exists anymore. None of that exists anymore. During that time, if you lived there, it would be really hard to see the possibility of um, this is possible. Uh, so right now, also I can. I noticed, you know, uh, you know, Oprah was a great inspiration for me. You know, hundred years ago, this country, and now and that black African woman is the richest woman. So, kind of give me goosebumps just thinking about it. So anything is possible. So that kind of led me to just searching for answers. And the answer was as simple as recognizing we are one human family. Um, um, as simple as uh, what, uh, you know, recognizing that no matter what race, what religion, 
what age or gender or culture, anything, no matter where you're from or geographic map around the earth, we are one human family. We are one human family and uh, um, the common ground is as obvious as that when we step into this planet Earth, our first organ is that heartbeat. And uh, when we come from that heart center, it's so obvious, we all already know it. Uh, and when we unite under that, unconditional love, uh, derived as compassion, acceptance, uh, forgiveness, um, service, uh, love, all of those. Um, so that's all, is the way to get there. And that's what was my inspiration. Um, I really, really want to be, I remember I read that book and that book was saying like uh, so many different topics of humanity, uh, the technology, just look around, you know, the way we transport, uh, tr eat, mm -hmm. anything. Anything has evolved so much, but the topic of peace has not really evolved much at all. Uh, yes, we talk about it, but still wars exist. And then... Um, um, it seems that we're still in, you know, in the realm of animal realm. Whoever is the stronger will always be on top of the weaker and on and on and on. And um, so we can see countries over countries, you know, power over greed and all of this is happening. But I really, really believe um, that in this millennium, in this millennium, Humanity's consciousness has evolved to a uh, tipping point that uh, everlasting peace will be uh, a reality. Painting is the only thing that I, I really enjoyed. I don't know what it is. There's something about those vibrant colors, spectrum that you have, and they're like creamy, and they have this brush. You can just kind of, um, you can just kind of uh, express it on the on the on the uh, on the canvas. So that's kind of why uh, I just there's something that, and then. I love, there's something I love about it that you can just be free with abstract, you can just be free. There's no rule, you just follow your heart and you follow the motions. And whatever you feel at that moment, um, you can just kind of go with the flow and just kind of express that when you do some kind of abstractions. And, and that's kind of why I love it, the freedom of it and the creativity of it. And on top of it, is um, creativity and art, <clears throat> it's a miracle of love. And I think it's ultimately with this decide, this, you know, this uh, expression of connecting to create art as a form of uh, um, connecting to the divine, the divinity side of yourself. What happened is um, around age of 14, 15, I, um, I had a wonderful tutor that taught me, uh, taught me uh, um, all the, you know, the basics of the art. Um, I learned from kind of drawing to color pencil, to watercolor, to perspective, landscaping, uh, portrayed uh, colors, 
contrast and shading and all of that. I learned all of those. And um, he was really good. He was really good. And he had, uh, he had uh, really a lot of good skills and different techniques as well. And um, one day I um, asked him, asked him uh, that, um, can you teach me this certain style to me? And uh, that certain style is, was a miniature. Miniature is a Persian miniature that, um, that I really enjoyed. I enjoy when I look at it. It has a lot of detailing, a lot of small, tiny detailing. You gotta have like a tiny little brush and spend hours and hours just gonna be like on a watercolor paper. Uh, he said, Esan, why do you want to learn this? Um, I said, because so beautiful. And it's part of a culture that my parents are from. I want to kind of connect to that. He said, well, Hassan, if you want to learn this, no problem. I can teach you. But um, you're going to go, uh, you know, miniature was created over 800 years ago, back then. So that means you as an artist going to go 800 years in the past. And I just said, what do you mean by that? He said, well, um, it has been created. If tomorrow um, you start practicing to draw a beautiful portrait, like a picture, you're still behind. I said, what do you mean by that? He said, because camera does that, camera does that. A true artist is somebody that is innovative, creates something that has never been created. Um, so that's why I was led to abstraction and I learned a lot about cubism, um, abstract art, impressionism, and pop art, and all of those, I kind of mixtured it in my own uh, specific style. And, uh, and then turned these abstract faces with the eyes and the lips. So that's kind of how everything slowly, slowly was involved. Thank you. Thank you for watching this. Uh, welcome to the Visions by Hassan uh, Art Gallery. And um, I am uh, giving something special. I'm giving something special because you watch this video. You can follow me and subscribe me in the social media pages. Everything is mentioned below. Um, the special thing that I want to give is this to um, a prototype that I created, the originally signed. Uh, 10 by 10 stretch on a canvas and um, we have the vision of unity we have vision of peace vision of a unity and peace front and the back um, I'm going to do a contest as one of you going to be able to win it you sign up um, uh, to the contest uh, all the information is below and um, I'm going to do a live uh, social media and uh, we'll, the winner we're gonna do a, like a lottery. We're gonna put it in a basket, all those people that actually have signed. Um, and then I'm gonna take it from the bucket and I'm gonna read that name uh, on that live social media, Instagram, Facebook, and, um, and you're gonna be able to win it. All shipping, everything free on me.